All right. So, yeah, samurai actor did something. Uh died to this other samurai actor allegedly and uh we're gonna figure out what the, what the hell's going on oh yeah we're in the courtroom already oh fuck we did some investigations court is now in session for the trial of mr will powers the prosecution is ready your honor the defense is ready your honor very well mr edgeworth your opening statement please let me take a sip of my soda Yes, that's quite good soda. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30pm on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for everyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp a layout of the studios, you see? This here is the employee area. Yeah, they had more nasally, yeah. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, on October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. I mean, there's also the security lady. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Oops. Click something wrong. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Oof, look at that big hole. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to that whole thing again? Uh, let's listen again. Maybe I can push it? I should have known it would be you, pal. Fine, once more for the mentally challenged lawyer. Hey! That's true, I am a little challenged. Yeah, yeah, live it up while you can, gumshoe. Oh, I can't, like, push him for- I guess it's not cross-examination. It's an employee area. Run through. Main gate. Is there one? Past security gate. We don't need this. We don't need this. I should have just skipped it. That guy. Will Powers, Jackhammer, and that lady. Time of death was 2.30. We're gonna skip that. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval! It was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is... What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Oh, yeah. Cross-examination, let's go. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? Hi, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Y your name, please. 
Oh dear, ain't no need to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy old bag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. Well, even when I was a young old bag, but that was still just my other children make fun of me and just because believe it, but there was this boy, the Captain Chess of Jihad, and he called me an old bag when I just cried and cried. Object I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. A witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate that day of the murder, correct? Ye yeah, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. Hmm. You may begin your testimony. He sure is one hell of an old bag. Classic Phoenix. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest of had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by me right at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant, then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. I'm pressing that. Do you normally work at 1 p.m., lady? So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go into the studio? Anyone could? Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee card key to get in. Right, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. So anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Well, Hammer and the rest of, had been uh, doing a run-through since the morning. A run-through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon, and they were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at five. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the uh, Studio One in the afternoon. Hammer was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there after noon? Alright, well, I had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Tell me your errands. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers, observing, you know. So you didn't have any errands to run, you dirty... Bitch. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whipper snapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I always watched Hammer's run-throughs, always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through too. You could quit being a spear medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until five. Hold it! <laughs> so you're watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Of course! I'm a professional, you know! Or are you criticizing how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time! Whipper snapper, snipper whapper! Snipper whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. 
What did you see? Now, the murder happened 2.30 p.m., right? How did you know that? Oh, ho, ho, I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Mm. Or poor, poor detective Gumshoe getting ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by at 2 p.m. Two? You're sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, now, don't get your skivvies on a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. It was Powers, that man right there, and he's heading toward the studio. So he saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. doesn't look like powers. I object. Let me get this straight, old bag, er, miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about this man in the photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. It is not, it can't even fit in there. What is this exactly? None other than Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers you saw? Of course, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. Uh, um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <gasps> I... I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Er... Uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her Old Bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? <laughs> Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old... The witness... Please, make known all information in your position ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Uh, uh. Wow, old windbag has left even Edward speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. I never say anything I don't mind me, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props, and it was a big mess. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Uh, it just looks like he's not, his pants are too long. So he had sprained his ankle? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'm gonna press her until she squeals. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through action scene... Actually... I press that. Um... Hey, I haven't said anything yet. You today, goddamn Bill Gates and coronavirus and goddamn Microsoft and Mark Zuckerberg. I think Hedgeworth has met his match. Ah, oh, okay. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, who was present at the run-through? 
Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the Steel Samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing, just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. But she didn't see the run through then. I saw Powers trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? What was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down on the court record. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. That's the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, your honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. And it's clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, your honor? I object. <clears throat> Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove the doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went through the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? I'm gonna press that. How do you know that? Eh, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. See, Detective Gumshoe shares a spell of officer's fondness over donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking? Alright. No one else went there. I... What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before one? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen them. Old one makes sure his balls, or, well, you know what I mean. Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Yeah, they sure do. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. So I'm eating fries. <laughs>
He's got me stumped. What evidence do I have? G boy. I'll get another card. Damn. Whoops, that didn't go so well. Someone could have gone from Studio 2. Oh! I'm not doing so hot. Well, this one, because it could have gone from Studio 2. know here. I actually have no idea. Thank you. 
not really a lot to go on. Can't, I don't really have anything that disproves it, I mean... Well, if I just give him this, like... Okay, but we did this before. This photo was taken by the camera at Gates Studios, we're correct. Yes, sir, hey, sorry. And passes by here, and I'm out, he takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m. photo number two. But I don't know what that means it was taken on 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is that this end where it says photo number two. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think of that. Photo two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be number one? If it really was the only photo? Ah, big brain. Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Security lady herself. Eh? You went to a middle of the only person I saw that day was well-powered. That means two people went by. Edgy boy, help. Ah! Huh? Believe me, I want to. But I don't know what this means either. Oh. Super snapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right! I- I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. I'm also eating fries. Ow. Ah, oh, I see. A testimony, please. Alright. Go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. So is there any photos that aren't suspicious? This, this is the first I've heard of this! I only just remembered it. This was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Right, who's this other person? That's another job. You thought you just throw out photos? How would you like to determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces. For the most part. And their skin color. I'm an old racist lady. For the most part? Oh my gosh, lady. This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point.
Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out the one photo that day. Come to think of it, can't you think of that a little earlier? Classic old windbag maneuver, Maya. Well, what was the photo? Well, who, the he who in the heck was that photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? That's, that's the most suspicious photo! That's the most suspicious photo to throw out! What are you doing? Real samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging out what, about, about, one was there that day. Wait a second, didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words! Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Yeah, I saw that! The has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. So you... <laughs> this lady, I... I think she's the murderer. She's just so dumb. Holy shit. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. That's still a fucking important... What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg, and the other was a boy who looked to be about second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade, hmm. I assume it would be hard if not impossible for a young boy to wield this samurai spear. <coughs> impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there, that makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Bro. Hello, computer ghost. What's going on, man? I, don't mind my voice. I'm a little nasally today. A little stuffed up. Ugh. Am I hard to see on the side? Really? You think so? Am I meet should I make myself bigger? In the sub box. Oh my profile picture. Oh. I never really considered that. With the with the little ghost. I never considered that. That's something to think about, I suppose, hey? Hmm, maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll find something new later. I've had that profile picture for so long. That's just the uh, the ghost from uh, Pokemon uh, Lavender Town. Y yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. I I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. Oh yeah, I made him sound like Winston from Overwatch. I wonder if I could do that today. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You, you should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? Dude, it was not him. It was definitely not him. You know why? Because I I am his defendant. I'm his attorney. So he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy doesn't race IndyCar. <laughs> this guy this guy's an actor. It doesn't look good. 
You're, you're the only likely suspect right now. Nick? What, what are we going to do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. Ugh. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Poor guy. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Okay, like, chill, Edgeworth. It's been like 15 minutes in trial. Like, chill. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Yeah, it, was, it was the kid, it was the child! Order? Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Ooh. I want to say the security lady, but she's got a solid alibi of just watching the cameras till like five. So I'm going to say the assistant girl. It was the assistant. The Steel Samurai costume was in his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. <laughs> Phoenix, you fucking buffoon. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Oh, uh, oh, bad feeling this time. Remember the testimony concerning Power's injury? Powers and Paul Hammer were in the run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Oh, huh? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. Got guts like the victim got his guts in all over the crime scene? Yeah. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Power's injury. She could look like the Steel Samurai. She could look like... Uh, she could look the Steel Samurai look with that... She could look the Steel Samurai look... That, that sentence was weird. But she couldn't walk in the Steel Samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. Ah, oh, fuck. That kind of take that kind of takes the legs out from under the case, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid I have to penalize you. No, I don't have what. Oh no, oh no, I'm not doing so good in this case. I'm not doing so good. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Let me move on, Mr. Wright. Girl, this fight isn't over yet. One more chance, please. Who was the person other than Mr. Powers? I'm gonna go with the security lady. That was my first guess, but it seemed a little too obvious. Who's the security lady? Wendy Oldbag. Ooh! Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Oldbag. What? Webber snapper! Order, order! Is is this true, old bag? Old bag, that's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? 
Simple, Your Honor. To pin the blame. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes 2, baby. Huh? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Hmm. The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Wh what What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this a whole new way. Press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Old Bake's actions that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops! Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders? Whipper snapper! I have proof. P proof? Indeed. Well, let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Oh, do I have proof? Yeah, he needs a card key. The scene of the murder was, well, no, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. How's it going? Well, it's going pretty good. I'm a lawyer. Feeling pretty great. Uh, yeah. I have like two more days of vacation, and then I go back to work. So I'm going to enjoy it. And by enjoy it, I mean be a lawyer. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, your honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The court is adjourned. Nice. We survived. What? Oh. What? Wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Uh. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? W well, testify. Oh my gosh. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the You can't just leave that out! You dumb old bitch! Oh my god, this is a murder. You can't, you can't just leave that thing. There's other people there? They said they had nothing to do. Oh my god, you can't. Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. You can't just pretend that. You don't, you don't get to decide that. No. Oh boy. Miss old bag. This is crucial information. Why'd you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. Oh, mm. 
Oh, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Oh boy, what else? The, like, this is the most unreliable witness, like, I think we have, we, I've ever met. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. <clears throat> so, you were told not to talk. That's right, by the studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all in on it. Oh my god. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. Okay, who? Who were these people? Well, the director, the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. St Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Yes, there was, Phoenix. You know this. Well, if you look at the guide map, yes, there's a, it's right, it's the big one that says two. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. We tried to go there, but we couldn't go there before. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? Yeah, continue the cross-examination. That they had nothing to do with it, see? Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Yeah, Studio 2, what's that? Says the guy who's been to Studio 2. <laughs> what? Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. Oh, it was always about the money, you old bag. You got your bonus and you still talked. Hmm, I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. We're continuing. I'm not fucking stopping this. I need to know more. I'm getting as much info. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were other studios, they said that, so they told me to pretend that been at the studios that day. I'm gonna keep fucking pressing on this. They were actually in the studio. Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. Remember, I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth, almost. She really left them hanging on this one. But if you're going to accuse, be accused me, I'm not gonna get away scot-free. Them? Who were these people? Give me names! The director and the producer. Director? Yeah. Yeah, we saw this already. Yeah, yeah, we already saw this already. Okay, maybe that's all. I think that's- that's everything. Alright. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and er, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold it that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Mrs. Oldbag. And more information about those other people we have just witnessed, we have just been told of. Dude, Edgeworth is not having a good day. I understand, your honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. Court is adjourned. He had a pretty good couple days earlier. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really? It's nothing. Grin. Oh, or should I? <laughs> we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigate. Was she just sniffing him? What was that? He does, does he lose? I guess he does lose every trial, doesn't he? 
Because I'm just that good. I'm the ace attorney. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. Nick, have we figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Would it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sore. No! No! She was the most unreliable witness so far, omitting almost everything important, even if she didn't know. No. Don't feel sorry for her. No. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Yeah, I lied. I, I did con- I did- <laughs> I was in contempt of court. So what? <laughs> thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> to be continued. We're gonna finish this goddamn trial. We're continuing on. October 18th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Ooh, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick! Say, you think WP's got a chance? Guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. I don't need to look at all this. Let's talk. What, what, what do you want to do? What do you think we should do? What? I, why don't we just do what you just said? We gotta get to the scoop on the director and producer. Oh, right. No point in hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! <laughs> I like how it treats you like a dumbass for asking that question. What, what do you mean? Any ideas? Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. All right. To the studio. October 18th, 2.16 p.m. Global Studios. Main gate. No one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Old Bag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. They're probably dry and crusty. What? I was going to eat them. Studio van. Gotta look at things. Been turned off for the day. Alright. Hey Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe is in here today. You're right. It's probably up to his neck and paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Studio 2. Studio 2 entrance. <clears throat> this is Studio 2? I thought so. It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are we sure this is the studio? Look. What we got here? Looks like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Oh, excuse me. And that's number two. On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Nick, let's go inside. Think it's okay? Oh well, it's locked. 
Aw, oh, shucks. Oh, flowers. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. A little broken. A little busted. Oh, I can slide. Ah, yes. A little fireplace incinerator? Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. No one was eating food here recently. Hey, T-bone steaks too. What's it with these steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for the steak, but something does seem out of place. I I don't know. It just feels odd. Hmm. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. It kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it rode fine. Let's go for a drive. Sure. If I had a li you don't have a license, Phoenix. What the hell? He's been working too hard on his. Job. Nick, you don't have a driver's license. But look, I have this. I, I'm an attorney, it doesn't matter. I I get other people to drive me. Because driving is for poor people. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? Hmm. Something I'm missing? Pretty much it. Uh, hmm. We'll go back to Outside Studio One. Outside Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Oh. Okay. I feel like... Hmm. Where's everybody? This. Hmm. Hmm. Did I miss something over there? Oh, I guess we can go to the employee area. What's up, employees? Look, it's that assistant girl! Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys! Uh, oh, 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 don't mention it. Is it true they caught that security lady? Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Actually, she just called me. Dude, I think Phoenix has a crush. She told me to cover up that train. You mean that one? <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Wow, what a mess. I I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fix them. Oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should wear it at least a little bit more. Oh, Phoenix. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? Seems so. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick. That drain's covered. The boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah? I think that was the idea? I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? You want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh, no. We're gonna... <laughs> I... You know, I wanna, I wanna encourage her uh, adventurous side, but I also, this is a crime scene, so uh, we're gonna just leave it. Be. I think we should leave it on. They only just repaired it, and if we take it off, that assistant will get yelled at by you know who. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, I didn't expect her to take it that hard. Sorry, sorry. 
Do it, should I? I don't. Uh, I don't know. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. It looks like a castle. A nice little bike. I already saw all that stuff here. The food's still around. We go in. We'll go in. Here's the dressing room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer is planning on doing then. Hmm. She's got a point. Saw pretty much everything in here already, didn't we? I, don't, I haven't really gotten much more evidence. Yeah, trespassing simulator. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. It's okay. I can, I can trespass if I want to. I am the law. Wait, Nick! What now? These snacks. They've passed the expiration date. Don't eat them. They're snacks. They're meant to be eaten. Yeah, I know, Maya. I feel the same way. Oh my god, it's a mirror. I see my spiky hair is still nice and spiky. Just how I like it. Man. I'm not getting any evidence. Supermarket tabloids. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone. Wolf men found on Mars? I'll have to buy that issue. <laughs> Samurai Boogie Woogie, Nick, get with the picture! Look, explain to me how you can identify a show just by seeing a wig. I, um, kinda like Samurai movies. Kinda? Hmm, man, I, I'm like lost. Like, I need evidence, and I don't have any... I have no evidence. I have no new evidence whatsoever. Oh, this is new. Rip jackhammer. This guy's 23? This guy's 30... I feel like it should be the opposite. This guy's 23, he's got like the big ass like fucking <laughs> Crazy. Come shoes 30. Edgeworth is only 24? Oh my gosh. I feel like I feel like he should be like like that like okay, so so Maya, yeah, definitely that, that makes sense. Uh, he should be like 30, 33 at least. This guy should be like 40, 45. This guy's definitely like 45, 50. This lady, yeah, that makes sense. This guy, yeah, he could be like 25, 30, 35, I guess. He could be 37, yeah. And then, yeah, that makes sense too. But Jesus. 24? No way. He just got out of school, man. Old lady's 30, yeah. <laughs> if you're a security guard, that, that's, what ha that's what happens. Oh, didn't want to do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Is there any settings I want here? No? Okay, cool. Um, hmm. Man, I got, I got nothing. I'm not finding shit. Maybe I should rip this off. Fuck it. You only live once. We're ripping this off. We're ripping it open. Some things are made to be broken. Yay, you know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah! There, that should make the kids happy. Things we do. 
The drain grate is off, and I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a do good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. All right, uh, well, let's, uh, maybe we can find the assistant. The assistant lady has been avoiding me, I feel like. I feel like she might be the one, to be completely honest with you. Some roundabout way. She just seems too innocent, you know? Oh, shit, Penny! Hey, I was just talking about you. Uh, to good things, good things. Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash once she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him though. I heard something at the trial today. They said the director and producer were here for the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's a real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? I'm a lawyer. Wanna see this? I'm a lawyer. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm sorry. Yeah. You wouldn't know. Um... Have you seen this picture? Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? What is this anyway? It's like she didn't know about the photo or the injury that morning. Never mind. Say, you work with props, right? About that murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those card keys? Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. I guess they're pretty good about keeping those out of... Out of, out of, out of, out of, out of I can't speak today. Thanks, I'll be careful. Wanna see this autopsy report? Wanna see this map? Cool. Uh... Crash! Eek! N Nick! What was that noise? Not like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Uh, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should go barging in. But we've been trespassing, so let's do it. It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. The lettuce. Oh, let's go to the main gate again. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I don't want the key for that trailer. Maybe next time. I mean next time. I need it now. She'll just give it to me. No. Um. Hmm. Talk to this guy. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. Don't say that again. That's not. So, WP. 
Do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Like, can you tell us who was at the th place? Can you just tell us, tell, give me names of these people? Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. Like, tell us the names of the people that were there. Do you know about the fanboy? Do your fanboys sneak into the studios off? No, not that I know of. That security lady is pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and Eva Magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Just the studio asked us to keep it quiet. This is- your life is on the line here! Fuck the studio! No! No! I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie of a lawyer. Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, no. Well, actually, I did kill the guy. Fuck! the murder weapon. Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through. Oh yes, I goofed her on around a kick, you see. I broke the spear. Security lady fixed it for me right away, though. Security lady fixed it? With duct tape, we heard. Hmm. Actors are weird. To hang out with that crowd a lot. And, um... There's there's a couple different like theater kids that you, that you used to hang out with. Um, the the ones that actually like are serious about their job, and then the ones that are serious about their job but like are a little too into their job. You know what I'm saying? Huh. <sighs> What the fuck? Who are you dudes? <laughs> what the fuck is this? WTF? Who are you dudes, LeMail? What the fuck? Is this a Discord moderator? Huh? W we... Wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. <laughs> what the fuck is this? How can you not know the great Salmonella? Salmonella? <laughs> what are these names? I make Talit's shows, The Steel Samurai, mine? Art or RTFC? Really? You're THE Salmonella? I'm so sorry, I just- you look so... Sorry. Oh no, quite alright. Really, it's fine, Ruffle. What? what is it? <laughs> you know, on closer inspection... Mm, yeah, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hey, don't you do a lot of cosplay cause that costume rock soars? What the fuck? Rock sores? What? Hey, what are you doing? What in the mid 2000s lead speak is this bullshit? Um, <laughs> lol. Buffer overrun. You've triggered my creative powers. 
Yes, it's it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to Steel Samurai Pink Princess Warrior of Little Old Hokyo. Pinko Princess! Pinko Hime! Pinko no Hime! Ruffle Hormel! What the fuck is this? Pink Princess? Why has it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. I hate him. Okay. Alright, well. Hey man, did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Also, why the fuck are you in here? Oh, I know who you do are. That security lady told you about us, hey? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run-through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> He's kind of like a nerdy- I kind of made him like a nerdy Scandinavian guy. I don't know what accent I'm giving him. <laughs> I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Sad fit. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, it sucks, -ers. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does sucks -ers mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until after four. With the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. But the producer was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? She's a genius, mad skills all the way, scary though. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Shamurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon till 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors and a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Why am I getting Scottish? What the fuck is happening to my voice? I can't do this. Major tension. Sweats. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray here geezers. Hmm. Sounds like they'd be reliable as witnesses. Uh... What do you know about this spear? I try not to pay attention to things that don't interest me. LOL. Why, why are you staring at me like that? Yeah. Maya, maybe just step back. Maybe just leave. What do you know about this picture? This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. All right, the director would know about the injury. He was there. I'll try to, uh, he doesn't care. See this? I'm a fucking lawyer. All right. There was twice as much here before. I, I, uh, I ate the snacks. They were past their inspiration day anyway. Um, she's biting her lip and staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. All right. Well, nice meeting you, Mr. Director. I forget your name already. Aha! You again! Eek! How rude acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly! Oh fuck. Ugh, my voice can't do this anymore. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? 
Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go! I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway... Know this, whippersnapper! This old lady never forgets a sight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me! My lips are sealed! Sure, talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now! One, two, three! Mm. Lady's too much. Um, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! N Nick! Look at her eyes! She's serious! About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick! She's losing it! Alright. Alright, well. So you fix this spear, right? Ah, oh, okay. I already saw everything in here. If there's nothing else, then I don't, I don't need to be here. Uh, go back to Studio 2, maybe? Yeah, I saw everything here. It's still locked, hey? Hmm. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? <gasps> oh, <laughs> well, I guess we'll go back to the main gate. I go back to the employer. Anything else? Oh, it's a kid again. Hey, hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through that drain. Hey, um, Kiddio, what's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that! Uh, uh, but, but you are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here. Hippie fashion chick. What? Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. Gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty upset. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me Kiddio again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer. Alright. Let's, let's have a chat with this little boy. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer! What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side! Ha ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay? Then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy! Like some fries with that? Hmm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it! What are they doing? Okay, what happened? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? Hmm, you were here, weren't you? Hmm. Did you see anything? He, he... He, he always... The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him, I saw everything! What? But, but no way I'm telling you, evil losers! What, wait, wait, let me go! He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why this was sitting here, I wonder. I bet you this was like a sleep aid. And it made him really tired, and then he had a nap. Oh, yeah, it even says sleeping pills right there! I wasn't looking at that. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. <clears throat> well, I got some evidence now. We'll go back inside here. Uh, yeah, let's go back in there.
I see that kid? Uh, he doesn't care about saving pills. Okay. Hmm. Where's that old windbag? Thought of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her! Stop, whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Oh, but wait, we can probably get that key. Hey, Nick! Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to that trailer in Studio 2! We'll be boring this, right, Nick? Alright, now I know where to go. We're opening this door. Great, let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Ah, uh, not that eager. All right. Studio 2 trailer. Oh, hello. Eek! Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Um, we're, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. And who might you... D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. M Miss Vasquez? Script. Uh, I excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, can we ask you about, about the day of the murder? I need to read it. Hmm, we're getting nowhere fast. Uh, um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV? The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director. Sal Manella, was it? What er, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear? I'm looking for a script. Can't be bothered with anything else. God, this weed is good. <laughs> Nick? Are we all people- are all people in the entertainment business just this weird? Yeah. Yeah. It's starting to look like it. Let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? See Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I- I don't think I like her. Don't cry, she'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. That's crazy. Singing Samurai starring Jack Hammer. Oh my god. That movie was the best! It's about a samurai sings his way to fame and fortune! Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars, what's next? Ninja Ballet? Samurai Summer starring Jack Hammer. This post is quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great! Typical summer romance, with a samurai and a horse? An old movie poster, Dynamite Samurai starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. What's in the garbage?
So that's it in here, huh? Alright, well I guess we'll go look outside. Winter is coming. Uh, alright, well. What if she wants the key? What if I show her this key? I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. She'll be interested in one of these things. Come on. Okay, she's got like that in Maloya, right? Damn it. <laughs> Alright. We're out of here. Guess we'll go give this to the director. Hey, Mr. Director, I have this... Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13? Episode 13, where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh-oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it. <laughs> Nick, it might be quicker to just look at all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Do I have to find this thing? God damn it. Man, oh my god, where, like, where do I go? Inside Studio One. Back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Is this the script? Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. The director? Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the doctor was talking about? Can you say he let it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Now I have the script. We got it. Maybe I'll show it to the guy first. We found your script. What the bank? St still, I don't know. That woman is to be feared when you bring something to her late. Say, um, do you think you dudes could take a down there for me? Thanks. That producer really that scary? Well, she's certainly not normal. I hate that. Fucking hate that. All right. Uh, na -na 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 Let's get out of here. Actually, wait. Is there anything else to talk to that guy about now? No. Okay. See ya. We're out of here. We're out of here. We're going. We're going to Studio Two. Oh. Uh, ah. Bad at this. I'm not a good speedrunner. Uh, outside Studio One. Move Studio Two. Trailer. Present. Here's the script. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah, the script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet, I'm reading. Hmm. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And who do you even know who we are? Ours lawyers. Um, right? Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? It, yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. 
None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? Path was blocked. The path? Uh... What do you mean the path was blocked? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M mr Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh right, that. What an original ha name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unlocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. I mean... Just go around. <laughs> you know? Like, just go into the trees. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We caught some people in the clear of the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate with my story. But, but wait, what if the head fell over after 2.30? And you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time. In ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, ook, ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. What's with, like, clocks and weird statues in this game? Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. Path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4 p.m. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. Okay. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. October 18th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. A little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Mia, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean, we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way I'm telling you, losers. I don't know, he didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. She can find a way to bring him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy's our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks, now I'm more worried than I was before. Back to- I was just at the studio! Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old lady. Huff, 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 huff. What, what, what's wrong? Huff, 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 huff whippersnappers. He's been chasing that boy this whole time. When I ca ca catch him, sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now, whippersnapper. A hostage? Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him, I'll lay him flat! My, what a violent old lady. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Ha! My heart! I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? 
And that boy was running away. He dropped this and, and ran. He'll come back. Or this one. It's kind of hard to understand it with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea, Miss Old Bag. No! I'm catching that bride if it's the last thing I do! Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Trade? Hmm. I wonder. You want this? Hey, that... That's a card of Studio One? Right, a card key to Studio One. I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit... He died. I wish his, his friend. You don't have your own card, Mr. Zolbeg? Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow it then? I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. I don't need to be in there anymore. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Mrs. Oldbag. Card key lent to Mrs. Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you, I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Steel Samurai card added to the court record. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling toward the studio. Where's that kid? There he is. Hey! Hey you, wait a sec. Phoenix, was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackens. I think he ran into the dressing room. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you! <laughs> Damn it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she- what? Did he just use mind control? God damn. Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I- I'm Cody. Hello Cody, I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Steel Samurai is so cool, I think he's the, um, the bomb. Ha! <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch that attitude! Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm, looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Hey, kid, I got some trading cards. Cody, this looks familiar. Hey, my, my, you, my, your, my, you are. You, you are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll I'll give you this. If you help me. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. What, what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? You want to trade? Find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why, why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? You want this one? Hey, it's a Steel Samurai! Huh? Why is he dragging his foot like that? Where'd you get this anyway? That's what I call an ultra rare premium card. One of... one of, uh... Yeah. Well...
Hmm, I'm gonna get a fucking premium card. Damn, okay. Well, I don't have a card. I don't have a rare card or anything. Uh, hmm. Well. What do I do now? Going back and forth in the studio. Constantly. Wait, what if I go get it signed by Mr. Will Powers? Can I get it signed? Is that a thing I can do? I guess Mr. Powers isn't questioning. Oh well, let's try again another day, Phoenix. God damn it. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I have. I, I'm fucking. I'm. I'm stumped. Employer. No, we were just there outside Studio One. Then we'll go to Studio Two. Let the trailer. See if this lady's here. Oh, hi. Hello. What? What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same as always! Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Um, have you seen that fanboy since then? Nope, you missed it though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Some people take their job a little too seriously. Phoenix in the studio recording his new single. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, are all the posters on the wall here of Mr. Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios, but his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened... You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Okay, yeah, what happened? Now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Oh, this is a trading card? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card! I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh? Wait. Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am, I need that card! Uh, give it to me, please, 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 I beg you! Please trade with me! Oh my god, please, trade- tr trade with you? Yes, trade cards! Look, I'll even trade you an ultra-rare premium card! Trade me a- huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra-rare! Please! Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everyone getting so excited about? Yeah, okay, fine. Take it, please. I need one anyway. Really? Then thanks. Then this is for you. An ultra rare premium steel samurai card collectible card. Very valuable. Yahoo! Easy trade. There she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. Alright, well, let's get the fuck out of here. Go back to, uh... The employee place. Man, there's a lot of clicking I gotta do. Hey kid. Look what I got for you. See this card? Yes. Oh, wait! That's it! That's the last ultra rare premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Wow, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot! No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? <laughs> Fine by me. 
Okay, Phoenix, let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a school grader. Grade schooler. You like him too, don't ya? Uh, oh me? Y yeah, I am. Um, I love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about Steel Samurai is. His kind nature. R right. Come on, think of something. I really like his um his kind nature. What a guy! Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's gentle as a kitten. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. Tell me what's your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai? Uh, his fighting skills. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, was them. The Steel Samurai always wins, always. Check this out, it's my fan album. Oh my god. <laughs> what the? It's all the pictures of Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they just beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands a final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out, my new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to glory. Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a the digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Path to glory received. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life! Hmm? So, tell me what happened. You were here on the day of the... incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Just like the Steel Samurai. For great justice. You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. What did you see? Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2. I had to come in through the woods out the back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. Then f I finally got this in the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used the Samurai Spear just like always. One shot, one kill. He's like so stoked. He's like, whoa. It happened so fast. I, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right, Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed, so... The only person left who it could have been is... Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him, then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! No, oh, yeah. I heard everything! This boy is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going! Wah! Bribing and triggering people their PTSD. All in a day's work. Oh, yeah. That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we going to do, Mia? Well, hmm... I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure he'll be okay. He'll be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, c come, come to the trial tomorrow. Please, I need you there. Please, I beg you. Please, Mia, please, please. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? I'm a lawyer. I believe he's innocent. Of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. 
I'll see you in court then. Great, thanks, Mia. See you soon. God damn. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to fucking save it here. Because I got a thing that just came up where I have to move some couches all of a sudden. And, uh, I'm a lawyer, not a... Not a physical laborer. But I'm gonna have to be a physical laborer for now, so... I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to bounce. I'm probably gonna stream later tonight some Guild Wars 2. But that was some good Phoenix writing. Maybe, maybe I'll finish the, the trial later. I don't know. Oh, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But uh, thanks for watching, Computer Ghost. Good time. Hope you enjoyed my very amateur voice acting. In any case, I'm going to bounce. I will see you guys later. Bye.